All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kudobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of a modular fuel tank expansion being made by Mooner Industries, and this is another parts mod uh, that adds in, well, fuel tanks. It's it's all in the name right there. And now I think like a week or two ago, we looked at fuel tanks plus, and I got I got a lot of uh, you know responses from that, and also other fuel tank mods we've looked at in the past. If people always bring up the, the whole point of, well, why do we need these when we have you know procedural fuel tanks? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I think the procedural tanks, though they're functional, they're kind of ugly. And, you know, I like my ships not only to fly well, but also to look darn good while they're doing it. And that's why I love all these different fuel tank mods, because they give you different options for making cool-looking ships, not just functional ships. So, let's head into the VAB and uh, take a look at the currently 44 parts that make up this mod. Now, let's just throw on a random capsule and head on over into the uh, filters by manufacturer, and thankfully Mooner Industries has sorted it all out quite nicely for us into these lovely two pages by manufacturer, and it's glorious, so let's take a look at uh, all the parts. Now the first one here is a jumbo orange cone tank, which is quite cool. It goes along with the or large orange fuel tank that we already have in game, but adds in a very nice cone to go on top of it that, of course, has a whole lot of good fuel and oxidizer in it, and it is compatible with other fuel. We can change the setup here if we so desired to uh, just be liquid, just be aquadizer, or both. Very good indeed. We also have a uh, dome version, so if you're not if you're not a big fan of the cone, you can go with more of a dome shape. And then we also have a half-sized orange tank. So if you don't, you know, you don't want the bulk of a full-sized one, you can just go the half variety. And like with the nose cone and the dome, we can go and set it up to different things, which is always happy to have those options. So let's chuck these off and move down to the next line where we have the Hatbox 3.75 meter low profile tank, which is, well, just a thinner version of the 3.75 meter tank that we have normally. We also have a 3.75 meter to 2.25 meter adapter tank. Very nice, so you can switch between the sizes. And a nose cone to go with it. And dear God, that thing is massive. Look at that. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, and also the dome tank that also goes with it as well. Let's just chuck these off and move swiftly on to also a 3.75 meter in size monopropellant tank that is a whole lot of monopropellant 1500 oh dear god that is that is a lot and then we have uh, another adapter here to go from the 2.5 to uh, 1.25 meters so we can always change between the different dimensions right there quite nicely and the different tank setup that you can do very good Moving down the line, we have the same sort of adapter, but this time in a short model, so if you don't want the more elongated version of this, always good to have options. And then a 2.5 meter white nose cone and dome. There we are, beautiful, beautiful little things. And we can just take those off and take a look at the MIP-1 Puck, which is a 1.25 meter low profile tank. I was about to put it under here, but dear God, that wouldn't be very visible at all under this. But there we go, a lovely little, just thin, thin little tank. Uh, that's, that's a big part of a lot of these. We have like half versions and almost like quarter size versions of some of the tanks that are existing in game. So you can have different sizes to get exactly what you're wanting and exactly what you're needing. We also have a pancake version of the 3.75 and a pie pan 2.5 low profile tank. Just so you know, again, you have just all different sizes and forms of the tanks that you love to use. There we are, chuck those off. We then have a, another nose cone, the 1.25 meter conical fuel tank. And of course the dome to go with it. We basically have that in all the different varieties. You get both cone and dome. 
I, except for a few options here. We have the 1.25 light dome fuel tank, and I do not believe there is a cone version of this. No, there is not. Uh, but yeah, it's just a nice little sort of orangey foil texture to that. Very nice indeed, if you're wanting a little bit of color into things. And then a 1.25 meter light tank of that same foiled texture. Could be very cool for small little satellites or probes. We then have the Thermos, which is a .625 fuel tank. I I like this little thing. I can imagine it being cool for, uh, like, uh, side tanks, something like that. Though it'd help if it actually attached. Huh. Technically, it is a part of the ship, but technically, it's also floating above it. That is a little weird. Perhaps a little bug, who knows? Or it could just be some strange placement. Uh, then we have some little cones that go along with the Thermos tank which is nice, so you can have that. We'll just kind of plop that on there. And, of course, the little dome that goes with it as well. Very nice. Let's chuck these off. And then we have similar things here for with that uh, foily texture. We can chuck these on a little, what was it, 0.625 light dome fuel tanks. Very nice indeed. I do enjoy that texture. It's very cool. And then here are, I think, probably my favorite parts. The radial fuel tanks here that are, well, massive. And I love these because imagine the type of planes you could build with something like that. And you have the, uh, you know, different slanted parts. You have the radial fuel tank that we just grabbed, uh, the slanted port radial fuel tank. There we go, which is just a slight variation. And then we have a, another slanted starboard radial fuel tank. Excellent. All very nice indeed. And oh, let's just chuck these off, at least two of them. And then we have the main radial fuel tank. So that, those would be like the sides. And then this, if it was aligned properly, would be sort of the centerpiece. And then you'd have another in the front. And imagine, you know, the fuel in, or the air intake rather in the front, the engine in the back, and the wing coming off the side. You could make some really Really cool looking planes with these things. We then have another radial adapter here, but this time for a smaller size. So if you aren't wanting to build a gigantic cargo plane with something like this, you can go for a much smaller plane with these radial tanks. And of course we have the little radial bit there as well, so you can have the center portions. Very nice, very beautiful. I, I, I actually do think that these are my favorite parts for this mod because even though I suck at making space planes, I love anything that will make my space planes look cool. And these will make them look very cool. Since I can't fly them, they might as well look nice. Uh, we then have some more radial tanks here, a uh, much larger size, very cool indeed. It is a uh, RWLGE-1 radial wedge tank. And then we have a much larger version there, very cool. Oh, let's check that off. Uh, then we have the large radial wedge tank short, which is a beautiful little thing like that. Very cool for at the bottom of rockets or even on a space plane. You could add these on for extra fuel and also a cool look. Uh, we then have a much larger version of it. Dear God, look at the size of that thing. And then, of course, a smaller version. Uh, all the different sizes you could want. And, of course, a small elongated version. Very cool, very cool indeed. I love all of them. And then we get to some of the more interesting looking tanks. Not my personal favorites in this, but very cool aesthetically. We have a large a toroidal tank here, which if, whoop, oh, oh, it's not wanting to cooperate. There we go. Uh, oh, I love that tank. It's just, it's beautiful. And it just looks so cool. Imagine one of the 1.25 tanks going through it and it being like, you know, simulating a ring rotating section for a space station or something along those lines. It just, I love the aesthetic of it. It's very, very cool. And then we have a small version. We'll just click on right there, which is, well, just, just smaller and also gray. Huh, I didn't notice that before. They're different textures. All right, well, let's chuck those off and get to the last handful of parts. We have a Xenon dome container. Ah, uh, look at that tiny little xenon dome. It is a very, very cool little texture to it. I, I quite like it. And well, actually, can I? Can we read what that says? 
pressurized gas. Oh, that's a cool little detailed feature. I hadn't noticed that before. Very cool indeed. And I also love that the uh, you got kind of the bars coming off the side there. And then we have it in different sizes. Oh, I need to zoom out for this one. We have a giant xenon gas. Oh boy. And then just a large version. I probably should have uh, had the small one go last instead of on the bottom. But yes, three different sizes of the domes. And then we have three different sizes of the cylindrical xenon tanks. And I'll do it in a proper order this time. There we go, from giant large to the small, or just really regular sized Xenon container, and it is very cool. I love just all the visual options for this. Sure, you could make almost all of these parts, at least in basic shape, with procedural fuel tanks, but it'd just be a solid dome or solid cone, and sure, there are some texture options, but you wouldn't have this detail. And I love my ships to look aesthetically good. And these details, like these bars coming off of it, just the cool little extra addition of the pressurized gas texture there, I love it. It's 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 just beautiful. And I love having things like that on my ships. I not only want it to fly, but I want it to look good. And along that vein, I have created a monstrosity of a ship that is not designed really to do anything, but look strange. Now, I've used fuel tanks only from this mod. Engines, of course, from other, well, from vanilla, because this has no engines, just fuel tanks. And it is ugly as sin, but you know what? I like it, because it's weird, and let's just give this thing a little fly. Yeah, this is this is a cool mod. I, I'm a big fan of any mods that add in new parts that are just, just look good. And this, this looks very good. So let's turn off the uh, UI there, throttle up, and uh, have some fun. Ah, uh, look at it as it takes off into flight, and I for some reason decide that I want it to fly to the ocean. And yes, have a little overview. So, Mooner Industries Modular Fuel Tank Expansion, a very cool little mod for adding a whole slew of different fuel tanks, 44 in fact, of different shapes, sizes, textures, and uh, you know, geometries. I love having these toroidal tanks here. Very, very cool indeed. And if you would like to give this a go yourself, you can always check out the link in the description to uh, go and download it. And I hope you do, because it's just fun. And of course, I hope you have enjoyed this episode today, and that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one. Now, time to change direction, randomly, because flying, it, it's, it's a thing that sometimes I do poorly. Okay, all the time I do poorly. I'm not a good pilot. Later, guys.